put it back on. Put, <laughs> you know, I just put a little of lip. And half off your baby foot. You're supposed to be wallowing well, in this I wonderful... Well, I looked so <laughs> So people were coming to see me and I just freshened myself up. Why not? If I wanted to do a kind of Italian type look, how would I do it? Well, it would have to be more tailored. So, so this, I've got to have shoulder pads then, yeah? Not necessarily, but a jacket uh, or a nice twin set, but mainly a jacket with a skirt or pair of trousers. And shoes? I mean, you know, I've got my English girl shoes on here, which <laughs> I like because yeah. they make me tall, you see. Yeah. But I presume Italian women wouldn't be too keen on those. Well, maybe at the seaside. But we, maybe they would, at the seaside? <laughs> they wouldn't wear it in town. <laughs> oh, that's so cutting. Me doing this Italian woman look is <laughs> a major <laughs> life change. <laughs> it's going to take hours. Now, John, you're going to give me a sort of Italian makeup look. We're going to give you a perfetto classico, which is the perfect Italian beauty. And what you have on is very molto bella, Lowry, but it is quite English, and I'm afraid the whole thing's going to have to go. I now look like Janice Battersby after a very hard night in the Rovers, so please start applying makeup now. <laughs> well, prima, a fondotinta. Which is? Your foundation. The Italians just don't get the pale and interesting look, so we're using a golden foundation for a Mediterranean glow. Sophia Loren and Gina Lola Brigida, what do they have in common? Not just cleavages capable of casting shadows over entire continents, they have defined eyebrows. They're also no strangers to black eyeliner. If you think you've not got a steady enough hand to manage with that, try adding some water to some eyeshadow and applying it with a stiff brush. So we're going for the sort of Liz Taylor approach here. Uh, we're we? going more for Sophia Turner. <laughs> Forget fashionable pastels or disco glitter. The Italian woman likes her eyeshadow in any colour so long as it's brown. And don't stint on the mascara. Black, of course. Complete the look with red blusher. Perfecto. Red lip liner. And even redder lipstick. The natural look rest in peace. That's red. That's that very, very red. That is very red. Well, all I can say, Lowry, is bella, molto bella. We've done the makeup now. Yeah. Thank you, John. What, but I think we need there's something missing somehow. I think it's the hair colour. Mm. Blonde doesn't work. Mr. Iacomini. Hi, Anthony. How are you going to give me Italian woman's hair then? Well, Italian woman's hair, you, you think dark, sleek, a bit more coiffed, slightly more classic. Even for you, I'm not willing to become a brunette. Okay, but I think I've got just the thing here. <laughs> <laughs>